Hello everyone and welcome back for another tutorial. My name is Joey and today I'll be showing you how to install Windows Server 2016 desktop experience using a bootable USB flash drive. Alright, let's plug that inside that computer and let's turn it on. Press enter so we can interrupt the startup. And we're going to choose F12 so we can choose our temporary boot device. And our USB drive is called a U3 Cruiser, so we're going to scroll down and choose that. So press any key. Of course, you have to press any key, any key uh, right away so it can start the boot process and the installation process. And these are the first steps. Now, I'll explain later regarding the quality of this video, and I will explain later why I'm using a laptop. All right, this is the language section, so we're going to click next. Install now. Over here, I'm going to choose I don't have a product key. We can install that product key later. And we're going to use Windows Server 2016 standard desktop experience. I accept the license term. Click on next. Of course custom install, Windows only. Alright now if you want to format you can format but for me I'm going to repartition these, I'm going to delete them. Of course if you have any data they will be gone. So this is how we partition. Either you click next and if you want to just continue and it will do it on its own but I want to divide them into a partition so I'm going to click on new. I want our first drive to be 100,000 megabytes which is equivalent to 90 something gigas. And that, that's where we are going to install Windows. So um, let's type in 100,000 and then apply. Okay. Now you see we have three drives now. The third one we'll use it for a backup. Let's hit new and just apply. Maybe like 120, 25 gigabytes. And the first one is for the systems for the Windows to use. And the second drive is where this Windows is going to be installed, and that's what we are going to choose. And the third one, we're going to use it for just backups. Alright. So um, the reason why I am using a laptop is because it is faster for me to do this video, to edit it, and to show you so any device can uh, be used for this uh, installation, but preferably a, win, uh, a server desktop with Pentium Xenon. Now, I am using a fast laptop. It is an i7 laptop. And I'm using this just for the purpose of this video so you can see how simple it is to install Windows Server on any computer. And um, of course, I'm going to fast forward this uh, video. Uh, so, uh, I know for the sake of time, and it does take some time. It takes about uh, 20 minutes to get it installed, and then the last 15 minutes. And uh, I'm going to fast forward it. All right. Um, other than that, each computer um, has a different speed process, but this is Windows Server, so you really need to put it on a very, 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 very fast computer. Now, after the installation is complete, we are welcomed with, you have to put a password, so I'm going to just put a random password. Uh, they prefer for it to be letters and numbers. So I'm putting letters and numbers. Yes, guys, it is faster. It is a fast laptop. It's an i7, has 8 gigs. I'm going to click on finish after. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video in um, low resolution it's not really low resolution. I'm not. I'm just not using using a VM software. A VM software is a virtual software, and uh, I just want to show you it live as much as possible on a device. 
All right, here we are. After inserting the password, we are on the Windows Server desktop. Yes, it looks like Windows 10, but it's not. It's just the theme. And I will show you right now how we're going to put desktop icons on the desktop. And it's, yep, you guessed it. It's just like Windows 10. It's just like the other video that I showed in the past. So we're going to right click personalize. We're going to go to themes, desktop settings, and computer, user files, apply, and exit. And now we're going to right click on the PC. And we're going to hit properties. And here you go. You have Windows Server 2016 desktop experience installed on the computer.